How's it going ladies and gents and everything in between? Welcome back to another video on this Blood Clark channel and um, yeah, today we're going to be discussing Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, the whole situation at Manchester United, of course, Antonio Conte is linked with the job there, I was going to say vacant job, but obviously it's not vacant there at this moment in time because Oli is still in a job which I am very pleased with as a Chelsea fan and um, yeah, basically we're going to be discussing the whole situation at Manchester United, so let's get straight into it. Now first of all, my take on uh, you know the situation in terms of Oli keeping his job at this moment in time, it looks like he's going to be giving at least three games to keep his job so the Spurs game on Saturday then Atalanta in the Champions League in midweek next week and then of course Manchester City who do go to Old Trafford the following weekend in the Premier League as well so it looks like he has those three games to save his job first and foremost I think that it's a bit of a, a shambles really that he has you know been given another chance because I think there's no coming back let alone with the 5-0 defeat against Liverpool on Sunday just the, the form that United have been on so far especially in recent weeks and this season on the whole has been absolutely shambolic you think of the 4-2 away defeat to Leicester, which they were absolutely horrendous, got really lucky against Atalanta in the Champions League to come back from 2-0 down, the home defeat to Aston Villa, the home draw to Everton, yeah, there's just been some really poor performances from United this season, and in my personal opinion, maybe United fans call me, you know, say that I'm wrong in the comment section below, but to be honest, I haven't really seen, in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's, you know, tenure at Manchester United over the last, what, must be two or three years now, I am, you know, yet to see a lot of, you know, really, really standout and good performances from Manchester United and from the team under Ollie's reign. I mean, don't get me wrong, they came second last season, which I will not knock him for because I think he's actually done quite a good job at United over the years in terms of getting them second, in terms of, you know, building foundations for the next manager. He's built a really good squad based on the squad that he inherited and, um, yeah, just made it detoxicated, if I'm honest, if that's even a word, because it was a really toxic place, Manchester United, when Mourinho had left and even in the Van Hal times as well and maybe even in the David Moyes times as well. He has kind of brought back the joy to Manchester United and, you know, had their fans believing again and, um, yeah, has got them close to challenging if they get in a proper coach who can coach these players properly. So that's definitely one thing, or a few things anyway, that uh, I think Oli has definitely got right at Manchester United. But uh, I think it is the time to go, to be honest. I think they definitely need to move on from him now. As I said, he's done a good job, but I think it's time for another manager now to take over the reins and properly build Manchester United into the team that they want to be, which is, of course, a team that does compete for titles year in year out and yet to be honest as I said I don't know how he has uh, managed to be given three more games to be honest I would have sacked him on the spot after that Liverpool game it was just a horrendous performance from them and against all teams against Liverpool, you know, basically Manchester United's biggest rivals alongside Man City, at home, at Old Trafford, to be 4-0 down is absolutely, you know, it's it's unforgivable, really, if you think about it, and yes, I know he's a club legend at United and whatever, but I think it's a really, really soft decision from the board, and to be honest, I think a lot of fans will agree with me in this sense that Man United board, the Glazers, they took the easy option in keeping Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, because I think Solskjaer, as a manager, is exactly what they want as a manager, and that is, you know, non-confrontation, you know, he, he'll be a, a little bit of a yes man to a certain extent and I don't really like using that term for, you know, football uh, football managers and players etc but Solskjaer is a bit of a yes man to this United board because if they were to get in someone like Antonio Conte or even for example you look at Jose Mourinho when he was there that is the, the Glazers nightmare as a manager is someone who will challenge them when, you know, they're not backing them or, you know, when results are going wrong on the pitch and, you know, they'll, they'll point to the board and um, yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I feel like Antonio Conte might not be the the best of fits for Man United because I've seen that for myself as a Chelsea fan. It happened at Chelsea in 1780. Now, don't get me wrong, we played some fantastic football when we won the league in 2016 17, but then that transfer window when we sold Diego Costa, replaced him with Morata, and you know, made some appalling signings like Bakayoko and Zappa Costa and Danny Drinkwater, etc., for massive, massive money. And Conte completely fell out with the board because he didn't get the players he wanted. And um, yeah, I can definitely see that repeating itself at Manchester United if Antonio Conte does get that job. So it will be probably decent to start but I think it could go very wrong very quickly and uh, especially with the fact that Manchester United board are uh, yeah, you know, not going to want that toxicity from Conte and um, yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I think that Solskjaer is still in this job because I think they want to do everything they can to keep him in that job because as I said he's the ideal manager for them because he will not you know, confront the board and he won't you know, cause them any hassle really and as I've seen a lot of United fans saying it is pretty much laughable and the club is in an absolute shambles at this moment in time I mean 
mean, you look at Man United's defensive record under Solskjaer, especially this season, especially with a back five who, on paper, you would say is actually quite impressive. David De Gea in goal, who this season has been, you know, almost back to his best, you'd say. Juan Bissaka, who I'm not really a big fan of, but defensively, you can't really doubt he's one of the best one-on-one -on -one defenders in the world of football, let alone the Premier League. Harry Maguire, yes, I know he has a tendency to make mistakes, and he was absolutely horrendous against Leicester and against Liverpool, but he has been a very good defender over the last few years, you cannot deny that. Raphael Varane, yes, I know he's injured at the moment and hasn't played recently, but is definitely a world-class defender and probably top three centre-backs in the world, you'd have to say. And Luke Shaw, of course, who, you know, was out of the blue last season, one of the best left-backs in the world. So, um, you know, you don't necessarily have a back five that you would say should be conceding the amount of goals that they do on a regular basis this season. I think United under Solskjaer this season have one of the worst defensive records in the entire of the Premier League, which is just absolutely horrendous considering the back five I named out and considering it is Manchester United, of course. So, yeah, it's just a really laughable record for Man United. They're currently, I think, eight points off the top of the table as well in not even November yet, which, again, is an absolute disgrace if you're looking at it from a United perspective, especially when they signed three world-class players in the summer in Cristiano Ronaldo, Jadon Sancho, and Rafael Varane. That is three world beaters, you would say, added to the squad that came second last season. And we're not even in November now, and they're already pretty much out of the title race, which, you know, it just doesn't really make much sense. And hence, another reason why I think that Solskjaer is absolutely blessed to still be in the job at United, if I'm honest. And that's why I think that Solskjaer isn't the man for this job. I think it's been pretty evident since Solskjaer got the job in the first place that eventually he was going to get sacked. I mean, obviously, every football manager does. But it was just a matter of time, really, you know, for a bad run of results to come. And uh, Solskjaer was never going to last there and in my opinion was never going to win any major trophies with United let alone the Premier League or the Champions League of course as well which they are still in. I think United need a proper proper coach now as I said Antonio Conte as a Chelsea fan it would break my heart to see him go there and don't get me wrong I think he would probably more than likely make them you know solid title contenders if not this season definitely next season but as I said it's you know a short term manager which I don't think suits the United way it's not what really the fans want that much I think they'd want someone like Eric, Tel Eric Ten Hag you know the IX manager who develops youth, plays an exciting brand of football and will probably be there for the long term as well and uh, would be a bit of a project. He would be a bit like what they wanted from Oregon and Solskjaer except with actually actual coaching experience and um, yeah, Ten Hag has proved, especially this season with Ajax in the Champions League which with a, a squad that you wouldn't say is the best but they're absolutely tearing their group to pieces in the Champions League. I think they bet Dortmund by four goals to one or something a few weeks ago. So Ten Hag could uh, definitely be a solid option for United. Uh, Zidane as well I've seen linked but I'm not really too sure on him. I think the jury's still out on Zidane because yes I know it's, it's it's easy to say he only done it at Real Madrid probably the best club in the world he won four Champions Leagues or something at Real Madrid in a row but um, yeah I'm not sure if he would suit United and I'm not sure if he'd suit the Premier League full stop but yeah it's a really interesting situation at Manchester United at this moment in time if you're a United fan or even just a fan in general please do you know let your thoughts be known in the comment section below because as much as this is my opinion in this video I want the comment section below to reflect your guys opinions as well and what you think United should do and don't just be like oh yeah Ollie in because he's you know he, he's terrible so every other Premier League club gets to laugh at him or whatever and don't get me wrong I'm on your side with that one Oli in all day long because he's doing such a bad job at United and he doesn't make them a serious title contender to Chelsea but um, yeah leave your honest prediction or honest opinions down in the comment section below with regards to the situation at Manchester United and Oli Gunnar Solskjaer and um, yeah that's where we're going to leave this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like helps me out massively subscribe if you're new to the channel as well and um, yeah I'll talk to you guys later